Today I'm at Pelham High School talking to one of our many unsung heroes in the community, which I consider students who can balance athletics with their schoolwork to be unsung heroes. They're mentors and they're role models for other kids in the programs. And we are going to talk today with Casey Clark to see what's going on in his life. And Kim Kill is going to do an introduction because she knows him better than anyone. Thank you. Um, yes, I'd like to introduce Casey Clark. Casey Clark is a senior here at Pelham High School. He is a football player and a baseball player um, who also excels in the classroom. And so he is an all around great young man. Um, we have a lot of great students at Pelham, but he is definitely one of our shining stars. That's awesome. I love that. <laughs> all right. Welcome to the show, Casey. Hey. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. So let's start by talking about, um, for you, do you enjoy sports more or do you enjoy the athletic, the, um, the take in the classroom? Which is better for you? Uh, definitely, definitely sports. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Mom. <laughs> Gotta throw that in there, there right? <laughs> well, and that's okay. So does it come natural for you to just be smart in the classroom or do you have to really, really work at um, it? It's definitely a lot of hard work mm -hmm. more than it's just natural. I mean, I do feel like I can, you know, remember stuff pretty easily, but it's definitely, definitely a lot of work. What kind of classes are you taking? I take a bunch of AP classes, which this year I actually went down to two, but I'm also taking some advanced courses as well. All that and still balancing with sports. Yes, ma'am. I would just also like to say, you know, on top of being a fantastic student athlete, I mean, Casey is a great young man. He's involved in his church. He's involved in all leadership um, areas here at Pelham High School. He's always involved in the student life with the Joe's Flow Jungle, and he's always <laughs> supporting all the different uh, events that we have here on campus. And he's just positive. He's one of those kids that is smiling all the time and he wonders if you're not having a very good day and why wouldn't you have a good day? <laughs> you know, and he's just that type of all around great kid that we're just so fortunate to have. I love that. Okay, I'm gonna have to ask, do you prefer football or baseball? Whichever Coaches one's... aren't listening, coaches aren't listening. Which, uh, whichever one's in season. <laughs> good answer, that's a really good answer. Uh, let's talk for a minute um, about your studies a little bit more. How do you find that you balance and do well in both, both athletics and in the classroom. How do you balance that? It, uh, it really comes from my parents. My mom stays on me hard about my school. You know, my dad's kind of more of the, the sports guy. Mm -hmm. But, you know, as soon as I get home, my mom always told me from when I was little, you know, you can't play sports unless your schoolwork's done. So dad was like, okay, you know, we'll have to follow those rules. And so when I get home from practice, mom <laughs> Dad's always- Dad's gotta follow those rules that's too, right. that's right. <laughs> when I get home from practice, mom's always on me, you know, you done your schoolwork? Yes, ma'am. You got any homework? No, ma'am. You sure? Yes, mom, I'm sure. <laughs> so that's just, she's, she's a real big factor in that. That's awesome. And most of the time, good kids do have good people behind them, and I love that. So what do you want to say to your coaches when they're, when they're really dealing with kids who are struggling in athletics and or, and or the classroom? Because what I see a lot is they want to play sports, but they're struggling in the classroom, so they end up sidelined. I mean, I've always liked the idea of if you don't, you know, perform up there, then you can't perform down here. Because, mm -hmm. you know, that one day this down here is going to run out. Like, you're not going to be able true. to do it anymore. But that up there, that that's going to be with you forever. So um, I think it's a great idea to not really bench players, but definitely keep them back if they're not performing. Because, like I said, if you're not performing in the school, you're yeah. definitely not going to be able to perform when people are relying on you down here. You're absolutely right. Do you have a favorite subject? Uh, lunch. I was, I was about to say lunch does not count. <laughs> and I, mean, I, I didn't expect you to say that. I've always liked, I've always liked PE. And, uh, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I like uh, probably history because of okay. our uh, Coach T, actually. She got me on that bandwagon. Okay. But awesome. no, def definitely PE. What are you looking at in college? Are, have you looked at any colleges? I'm assuming if you're a senior, you've started that, that look. Yes, ma'am. Um, you know, I've been holding out for a while, trying to get uh, some offers mm -hmm. to play some sports in college. Okay. You know, I'd like to do that. So, uh, just holding out okay. as long as I can. Any idea what you want to be when you grow up? I'm still working on it. I've narrowed it down <laughs> to a few things. A few, you know what? You can do a few things. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. Listen, we appreciate you so much. We appreciate the person that you are, the character that you have, and what you provide as leadership that you may not even realize to others in this community. Well, thank you. Thank you all for having me.